greetings of the day today as in the fdp i had discussed with you about the quizy a tool to frame the question answers for the question paper for the final paper for the quizzes for test or for your sessional exams so today i am just going to let you know how to use it you can frame your questions very easily in the quizzy.com firstly you are supposed to as you find when i enroll when i log in to the quizzy.com i found for work for teachers enter code and sign up enter code this is as in the ftp program i had given you the code which you are supposed to write for example as i enter on the code here i have to enter the code for example 23456 right this is just example join and you can easily go to that quiz and you can fulfill that quiz mind it this quizy is really beneficial to all of you once you frame the quizzes you can easily <coughs> find out whether your chapters are actually understandable or any queries are actually left or are in the mind of the student or not and even you can easily find out that whether there is a need of any sort of a revision as we are nowadays in the virtual classes from the end of the students right so firstly you people are supposed to sign up sign up either through your google account or if you are not interested you can log in in this quizy from some another account as i have already logged in id in this so see i just log in in my account here i found at the school are you interested for your 12 k2 k12 or university or for your business or for the personal use so i am just looking for how you are using for this quiz i am using for quiz i am a teacher right then you can find out now what you want what will you teach today and see the benefit is here we have a quizy library and from this quizy library you can easily find out if any sort of a topic or if any topic is having the relevance to yours to your topic so you can easily click to that too for example let me check out if any topic which is related to mine as i have my own library too for example this see here i can create my own quiz here i can explore any quiz which is already available in internet and which i would love to share with my students to find out their knowledge level that i can explore that even in my library if i have created then i can find out that i can reuse that library too i can find out the reports the reports of the students that how many students are there and uh, how many have passed right and which class is there so again for this i can easily connect this this see this this connect the google classroom i can easily connect this class from the here right then settings see what is in the setting your email id your username and with the language see the languages any languages you can use english spanish right uh indonesian any sort of language hindi so any language you can easily use any language you can easily see polish i have used see the changes see right i'm sorry but i am supposed to use english so i click to english uh the circle indicates that's okay right see convert to the student account if you are looking for if you want to change your account type you can change that and so on in the more uh, you have minis minis what is that 
C. Right. So create a mini set with these kind of mini sets we can easily find. Let me show you. This is basically it is incomplete it is not here so you can create a correct mini and then utilize it if you have any sort of a collection like this right you can use it you can make your profile if you are interested log out and less so these are the ways these are the points in this <coughs> uh, site now let me show you this quiz library. In the quiz library, we have three points. Quiz library, my library and reports. Quiz library. As I click to the quiz library, and this is report. So, Let's move to the topic. I'll move to the explore. For example, uh, what will you teach today? I will teach, uh, search the topic. Okay. I'm going to search the topic of uh, uh, what I will search. I will search uh, the topic of recruitment. And selection right so once I click to that topic let me find out right so here I am able to find the number of topics are here so uh, let me find which one is the best and is suitable uh, I think this one is the right one because yeah this quiz and it is of the university for the university recruitment questions and again in this recruitment questions I found uh, it, yes it is very much correct as it is it consists of 20 questions and the relevant questions which are actually required for my students so I am going to assign this as a homework because as you know very well in our teaching we have as I told you even in my faculty development program also as well as in the FIP too uh, that uh, we have the ascomness and scrominess learning so this is ascomness learning and in the virtual teaching learning program this plays a very vital role let me assign this homework as I click to now what is the deadline uh, for example today is 17 uh, for example the tomorrow is 17 and 9 30 no I am not interested I am interested to give uh, to the students more time bit more time uh, let's say one more day right so that they can comfortably do that product and uh, do this quiz until that moment my topic will be also covered right so that they can easily and they feel more comfortable to do it and the timing is not pm but uh, okay it's fine it's 9 30 pm right so this is the custom deadline which i am uh, assigning to the students and uh, rest is again it clearly indicates this is the topic this is the number of questions and participants are supposed to do this and assigned to the class not assigned to any class see here right journal setting is there how many times they can do it this is very important see in this setting the participant attend how many times they can do it unlimited limited or one time or two times so I am saying only one time it is not 
but again for the one time what will happen they are supposed to log in so if you are not interested so no not required so if you are not interested that they are because sometimes we feel like no we are not interested to log in in that then you are supposed to give it to the unlimited show the answers during the activity show the participants the correct answer after each question so yes definitely it is important so once they click here they uh, must be able but if in case of the unlimited you are giving and on the another side you are saying to show the uh, correct answer after each question then uh, definitely it should be a practice set paper not for your sessional exam or for your final term and exam make this very much clear right then show the answer after every activity again the same answer for this right so the those two three points we are supposed to keep in our mind then show the learner board shuffle the questions shuffle the answers redemption questions each and everything is here okay so let me continue so continue oh now see uh, this once i continue uh, here it is indicating that should i go to my google classroom i can share directly to my google classroom or i can share a link or i can give this code that code which i was talking to you this is 20124564 okay getting my point so once either you are going to uh, give them their uh, code either you are going to give the code or you are going to share a link <coughs> i'm sorry now this is share a link if you are going to share a link see you can share a link this link is there you can copy the link you can use to your scrolly you can give to the cam canva right canvas you can go to your twitter also you can go to the microsoft team too right so it has number of op options earlier it uh, it was not having these kind of the options right so uh, again share a report yes definitely once the students are going to fill it you can easily share the report too mind it this there is a flash card in this which simply indicate like your report card simply indicate what is the accuracy how many number of questions and how many participants have attempted okay so in this way you can easily use it so if uh, i am interested to share it no i just want to copy the link okay i am going to copy the link right and i am going to end my assignment so that or uh, i am going to ask anyone to do the quiz so for example if i am going to do the quiz uh, let me do from my another handset uh, this quiz right so let me show you how uh, it appears okay because it is uh, really a very vital tool and it's very easy tool for those who find it difficult again what they are supposed to do they are simply for the students they are simply supposed to what they are supposed to do they are supposed to simply join the quiz this way okay so they are supposed to simply join the quiz but i think uh, as okay right so what was uh, the code i hope uh, you remember uh, otherwise i have a link to uh, let me find out the code was 20124564 Okay, so let me join. So my name is Vinu Kantek, and I am going to start. Okay. I hope I hope you are able to find start the game. so in this way i can easily start the game for example this is the question number 1 question number 1 which indicates here this is the music i am switching off the music 
आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट एडवर्टीजमेंट थ्रू द न्यूज़ पेपर टी वी रेडियो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव इंडिकेटेड इट्स इनडायरेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट सो आंसर इज करेक्ट राइट सो इन द एट द फुट नोट यू फाइंड द आंसर इज करेक्ट अनदर क्वेश्चन इज द पर्पज ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ब्लैंक इज टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कैंडिडेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगेन दिस इज करेक्ट सो माई पॉइंट आर दिस सो इन दिस वे यू कैन इवन असाइन योर पॉइंट एंड कैन कंटिन्यू विद इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ओके इट इज हाइडिंग इट इज इन करेक्ट सो द पॉइंट रिमेन सेम राइट so i hope you are able to understand so how the students uh, are going to do this and you can complete to you can easily find out the solution okay in the in this way if i am going to do this uh, if my students are going to complete this finish it uh, without finding randomly i am going to answer the questions okay so that you will be able to find out that how on the screen how being a teacher on my screen i found the questions in the report card If you want to, because you want to reattempt, you can reattempt too. I said okay, I want to get reattempt only one question, so I can reattempt that. Okay. So in this way, you will continue, and you can easily find here uh, if anyone is doing because I haven't submitted my quiz, so I am supposed to submit at least one of my quiz. then i can easily find out what is the result okay so in this way your student is supposed to do uh, you your student is supposed to finish this uh, full quiz even you people also can attempt the quiz and can find out easily that what they have done but we are supposed to actually submit the quiz so once uh, anyone has submitted the quiz then only you can find Okay, and the two questions are left. Let me show you that how it appears.
one redemption question is there if you are interested to give then it's okay otherwise not all done so that means you had that means you had submitted c what i was uh, looking for to let you know that how it indicates what is your performance this is your performance status 9 incorrect 11 correct 0 unattempted average is your this much long string means how much time you have taken so in order to increase your speed accuracy also it is very beneficial and once you have finished that see this is there this is the child screen student screen and this is the screen of the teacher right so end the assignment invite the assignment you have invited end the assignment and to find out your quiz what is the quiz where is the quiz what they have done so this is the whole quiz shared by you okay and you assigned it as a homework this one no participant have joined yet because it will take bit of time so that is the reason only but here you are able to find it this one and where what is this link let me find out this is the link which you can show to your friend circle this is the flashcard which i was talking to you in this way you will find out as in your google form okay so that's all i hope you people are able to understand uh, what is it how we are supposed to do and uh, i hope you will enjoy it and you can prepare your own ppt uh, own uh, ppt as well as your own quiz too for your class okay so in the next session i am going to let you know how to prepare your own quiz for the students Thank you.